Hello everyone and welcome to XMB. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to prepare for phase one and phase two. We all know that uh, NABARD IT notification for 2023 has just arrived and the application date starts from 2nd of September till 23rd of September. You can apply for the grade A officer in IT as well as in other stream. This video, I'm going to talk about the specialized stream of IT where uh, I will tell you the peculiar things about this exam and also what you need to focus in order to prepare for this exam because uh, this exam is actually uh, like when it starts and it winds up. I mean, the winding up with the interview, it takes usually seven to eight months. So yes, uh, you actually uh, require very less time and also you will have very less time in order to prepare from the scratch if you are not in touch with the studies so here how you have to focus how you have to make your strategy that is the point of discussion and at the end of the video i am pretty much sure that you all will have a clear idea that what this exam need and what you need to do for this exam and trust me if you follow the procedure that i am telling you it is a full tried formula. If you follow this, you are definitely going to appear in the interview. I'm not uh, saying that, okay, you will be getting the job, but yes, you will be getting till the interview round. That is for sure. So you just have to trust the process, follow it. At the end, it is a competition. You have to perform better than the rest of the candidates in order to get the seat. So now let's without wasting any time. Uh, first, I will just give you a brief idea that what are the phases of this exam. So this exam consists of three phases, phase one, phase two, interview and the final selection. And these three phases are totally different from each other. If you will see what kind of knowledge you are being tested upon on these three phases, they are entirely different. They have no overlapping to each other. Now, phase one what exactly phase one constitutes so if you look at the phase one and how you have to tackle the phase one you will see that there are these many sections see there are eight sections i don't remember any exam having this kind of variety in the phase one even now you can see here two color coding has been done one yellow and one green why i have done so so see in the bar phase one you will get overall eight uh, you can say sections in which you have to uh, like give the answers to the questions and how many questions are there the number that is shown just in front of the topic is the number of the question that you will be getting so for reasoning 20 for ESI 40 this is the kind of thing that you have to understand from this PPT now the one which are in yellow are only qualifying in nature means you just have to qualify the marks that you will obtain in the yellow section are not going to add up to give you the final selection. So what does exactly we mean when we say this? So you have to qualify the reasoning, English, computer, decision making and aptitude. If let's say you score 100 out of 100 in all these four areas and you do not score good in GA, ESI and ARD, will you be able to make it to phase two? No. If you score the bare minimum uh, uh, what you can say this qualification for these all sections and you qualify for the ga esi and ard are you going to make to phase two yes so the point that you have to understand is that the yellow portion thing are just going to help you to get from one end to another but once you reach to the other end how far you are going to travel that is decided by the ga esi and ard now we are it people we don't know this much we are pretty much comfortable with reasoning aptitude decision making english and computer but we have no idea about ga esi and ard this is the problem of more than 90 percent of the candidate how you are going to tackle this so see for it people there will be a different cutoff it will not be the cutoff that will be applied to all the general categories means all the general stream people or the legal stream people or the other stream people you guys will have your own set of cutoff definitely the cutoffs are very low we will make a video on that also so that it will give you a clear picture but believe me let's say for ga it will be two to three marks for esi it will be four to five marks for ard it will be four to five marks this will be the cutoff 
then overall you have to get some uh, marks uh, and that will be 1 is to 25 per seat so for one seat you will be qualified you like nabad will be getting 25 candidates out of the what you can say pre to the mains so yes competition is tough but if you dedicately give some time some decent amount of time for ga esi and ard for past six months and you just give it a study you just give it a try or even if you study the static content you will be able to qualify this exam there is no more uh, thing that uh, you can fear about this exam you just need to practice at least a good number of mock tests to ace your aptitude reasoning english computer and decision making also with the mock test if you give decent amount of mock test let's say 10 you will be able to qualify the ga esi and ard as well what you need to do just focus on what you where you went wrong what you haven't understood giving the mock test is not the solution but analyzing the mock test and learning from the mock test is the actual solution so you can learn either anyway giving the mock test and learning or you can just set up with chapter test or you can just start learning by your own self with the latest uh, available content with us so this is the strategy how you are going to tackle the phase one there are no sigma rules the only rule is you have to prioritize the order of study what you need to study in the first set ga esi and ard they are going to decide whether you will be going ahead with the phase two or not so yes a good amount of focus for these things means if i say that you have 100 minutes for phase one you have to spend 60 minutes on ga esi and ard and remaining 40 minutes to decision making aptitude reasoning english and computer trust me this process works and uh, if you follow this kind of rule you will be good enough to go for the phase two now what about the phase two how you are going to prepare for the phase two so for the phase two it is not the general exam that you will see out there it is a kind of mixed pattern you will have the it syllabus for objective you will have the it syllabus for descriptive qre and descriptive english uh, are the thing that i'm going to discuss and the ga so overall we have discussed qre and ga descriptive english play a good amount of role when it comes to the phase two in the phase two you will have descriptive english as well and this is a tie breaker many people get good number in it because they are specialized in that field they have done their graduation in that field so they are good but people undermine the importance of descriptive english and there you went wrong so you have to practice good amount of mock test for english descriptive try to get more than uh, near about 50 percent uh, in initial mock test and score as much you can that is going to be a benefit for you now it syllabus from objective and descriptive part how it uh, goes and what we mean by this so the phase two of it is being like divided into two parts one is the objective and other is the descriptive for the objective part you will have 30 questions for 50 marks and 30 minutes so you can see clearly that you have to spend one minute one question but 30 questions 50 marks it is not one to one mapping you will be having 10 questions for one marks and 20 questions for two marks that will actually count to 10 plus 40 equal to 50. So now the one marker question, you just read them and you answer them right away. They are just straightforward questions. The two marker question, you will be getting a paragraph or a, no, not a direct question. You will be getting a paragraph or a not a direct question. And then you have to analyze, read that paragraph and kind of fill in the blanks to answer the question. So this is the pattern for the object. 30 minutes are more than sufficient trust me and uh, if you are quick enough with the first section of the 10 questions you will get a good amount of time to spend on the second section for the two marker questions now once you're done with the objective you will be redirected towards the descriptive paper in the descriptive paper you will be going to get six questions out of which you are only required to attempt four these questions will be of 15 and 10 marks you have to attempt two questions for 10 marker and two questions for the 15 marker total it will give you 50 marks 30 marks from the 15 marker question and 20 marks from the 10 marker question you will get 90 minutes to write four questions now this is the biggest uh, thing that you have to address 90 minutes and four descriptive question not an easy task why 
because of the word limit. The word limit for the 15 marker is 600 words and the word limit for the 10 marker is 400 word. Not an easy thing to do when it comes to the 90 minutes timeline. Okay, so now how you have to do it and uh, uh, how you have to answer that thing I have discussed in an, another video. You can find the link in the description and you can just uh, put uh, six to seven minutes watching that video and you will get an understanding how to attempt the descriptive part specifically. If I'll talk about this, this thing here, this video will be way longer. So I don't want to do that. You can just visit the descriptive section and can go ahead with the thing. Now, we know we have objective and descriptive. Now, what to study? This is the thing that I haven't discussed till now. What to study? So my approach for NABAD is try minimalism. What is minimalism? It is not about having less. It's about making a room for more of what matters. Many students fails to understand this. Why? If they just focus on how long and how much syllabus they can cover. No, that is not the thing. You are not giving an university exam. You are asking for a competitive exam there to make a seat. You are investing your time and definitely you want result. You are just not doing it for fun. So you have to approach for the minimalism. And what I mean by minimalism here is Nabad gives a syllabus, but that syllabus is too weak. And if you try to follow that syllabus, you will always have more than 60 to 40 percent feeling that you are missing a lot on the syllabus. And then if in your head you feel like that you haven't covered the syllabus properly or completely or you have like far behind the syllabus, definitely even if you know all the question in the exam, you're not going to give it a good attempt. So what next? You have to organize, plan, prepare, prioritize and communicate. The thing communicate means you can communicate to like your peers who are preparing for this exam or if you are joining us, we will have classes and everything there you can communicate. Other than that, organizing, planning, preparing and prioritizing, you can also do at your own with our help also or without our help also. It's just your call. Now, when I say minimalism, this is what I mean by minimalism. This is the minimum that you have to learn before you start giving the IT part for the NABAD. So yes, this is the syllabus. This is not that minimal, but yes, every single word here matters for the exam. And these are most important things and questions have came out from all these areas in past two years. So yes, you cannot miss on these. If you want to learn a lot, you can learn a lot on top of it. But yes, you cannot miss on these 14 areas. And under that, if there is any subdivision, you are also going to get that. For example, in DA. You are having searching, sorting, MST, DP, divide and conquer, greedy algorithm. All these things are said. So these are important. There is no end to the DA. But yes, if you focus on these things, you are going to get a good marks. Or you can say efficient output of your input. So yes, this is what I mean by minimalism. You can just take a note of these particular, this particular slide or you can just take a screenshot, whatever suits to you. I think now I made my point clear that what is NABAT, why and how you are going to prepare for it, for IIT part basically, what are the focus areas where you have to pay a lot amount of focus and what things you need to prioritize when you start preparing for this exam. Now, if you don't feel that you can do it alone, we are here for you. We have our online course on NABAT grade IIT officer. And there we provide video lessons, study notes, practice tests, live session and interview guidance. So when you get onboarded with us, we are there with you till the end of the interview guidance. Okay, so this is our complete package for you. You can enroll now and check the offering that we are giving. If you have any doubt, you can just mention in the comment section or you can just call on the number that is being flashed on the screen right now. Or also, you can just write us to at hello at examby.com a mail if you have any query. Now, a short brief about the live course. So here in the course, you will get the video lessons. These will be pre-recorded lectures and you can watch them anytime. Even if you are working, even if you are not working, whatever time you get. These are short videos, there are long videos as well. So even if you are traveling or even if you have like a short break, you can use these times to prepare study notes once you're done with the video lessons 
you can also like for the revision purpose you can do for the study notes most of the video lessons and study notes are not going to overlap each other because we don't want to waste your time we don't want you to watch the same thing and read the same thing so that is the thing you will get the minimalistic approach in the entire uh, package as well there will be practice test practice test will comprise of the chapter test the ccqs and the mock test live sessions will be there for all the subjects that you are going to have in your exam and then the interview guidance so this is the entire offering from our side and we will keep bringing such more videos for you guys to be informed about the exam and what you have to do we will also do a lot of sessions so if you are interested you can just join us for doing that so if you like this video do hit the like button to give us the motivation to bring such more videos in the future on top of it if you are an unsubscribed user and watching this video be aware you need to subscribe it because there is a lot of good amount of information that we are going to give you in future so yes subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates from our side this was all from my side for this video see you in the next video